Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to install Prime NG into our Angular 17 application. Before we start to the topic, I just want to tell you that I make content on front-end development related things. So if you are interested in front-end development, make sure to subscribe to my uh, channel. So without wasting further time, Let's start with the video. To install PrimeNG into your application, you can go to your browser and type PrimeNG and you will get the link as PrimeNG.org. You need to click on that and you can click on Get Started section. So it's really a simple uh, documentation that they have provided. So we are going to follow this in order to install the PrimeNG into our Angular 17 application. So first, they are asking us to install PrimeNG. So I'll copy this command and I will run it. So let me clear this terminal. So once I run this command, npm install PrimeNG. So this package will get installed into my Angular 17 application. The next step, the step we need to do is we need to copy this particular files either in our style.css or in our angular.json so i would recommend using this angular.json thing you can go with this approach as well so i will copy this thing and i will look for angular.json in my structure so here i find the angular.json and here I can see the style section. So over there, you need to copy paste the links which they have provided. So I have copied. And I would recommend one more thing. So wherever you find the styles array in your Angular application, over there you should add those. Because sometimes what happens, these things work locally and after once you deploy this it doesn't work so i have uh, copied at both the places so that it will work in my local as well as on my uh, running development QR prod environment once the build gets generated so i have copied this link so i will just check what are the other steps uh, i can follow so one they have mentioned is let's say if you want to reset css of some component then that also you can use it using this code snippet so as of now i will just copy this and paste it in my style.scss i won't add anything as of now i will show you the use case of this later so this part is done now one thing you need to also make sure that you are adding this provide animation async into your conf app config.ts if you are using angular 17 so this is how you need to import is provide animation syncs with this uh, double brackets and you will get the suggestion once you spe uh, type control and tab and it will automatically import it for you okay so if it is not there make sure to add this and then uh, now let's test whether it is properly installed or not so i have uh, ran my application again so now i will just go to this documentation and i will check for the one of the simple components that we can check whether it is correctly Im installed or not so i will go to i will check for button so let me find if i see any button so here i can find this button so in order to add this button into my application first i need to import this button into my component.ts so i will copy this particular thing and i will go to app.component.ts i will paste it over here and as it as we are in angular 17 so i will have to import it because it's a standalone component so one part is done now i need to check whether this particular components are visible or not so i will copy this one and i will go to my app component.html i will paste it over here and i will go to my localhost so see i can 
see my button added into my application so I will tell you the use case of this particular thing like I have added at layer reset prime ng at layer reset within that I am mentioning the name of the component so as of now we only have button so I will uh, tell you how to overwrite the CSS of this okay so here now I don't want this particular outline over here so what I will do I will just type my code as box shadow none I will make it and now you can see that particular outline is disappeared so this in this way you can install prime ng into your angular 17 project and i have also shown one of the example how you can add button so if you have seen this video you should be able to add the other components based on your need into your project so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you